Um, so the lunar calendar dictated 2023 and um, I know I've not been consistent with making videos it's a little bit tough with a whole lot of things going, trying to balance a whole couple of things. And that has really influenced so much of what, um, of the inconsistency that, that um, has been going on with creating videos and making things for you guys. So I do hope to change a bit of that this year and see how I could take a more proactive um, um, approach, but no promises because um, we're just gonna see how we can dive into a whole couple more. And I'm sure most of you have like goals for the year, like um, some of you have made resolutions, some of you had made things that you hope to actually achieve. And this is our new space, by the way, uh, at the studio. So there's a whole lot of fun that we'll be having. The ability to be able to test things, the ability to be able to show you techniques, the ability to be able to do a whole lot more. And we could also do a lot more. So a couple of the things that we could consider doing um, this year would be to um, do breakdowns of movie scenes, try out lighting techniques, go in depth about um, setting an approach in terms of show lot design, in terms of the post-production workflow, and uh, using what we have, exploring other camera and workflow solutions that can be integrated into becoming a better storyteller. Because at the end of this day, everything is just tools. And if there's anything else that's most importantly, above every other thing is to be thankful because um, it's because we are here, we can actually have the chance to talk about filmmaking, talk about creative art, talk about so many things we hope that those who didn't cross over to, the, to this calendar and also to be grateful to those who gave us opportunities to be able to um, solve problems, whether they be film challenges, whether they be um, commercials, grateful to our clients, our producers, um, the, the team that believes in, in us to be able to give us the chance to be able to execute most of the things that we did. So just the whole gratitude mentality and not to take anything for granted because nothing is actually your right. It's actually a privilege that we have the chance to actually create most things we end up creating. So this year would we'll, we'll explore more. There'll be a lot of spec, like things we get to create our own problems and try to solve. Um, a couple of short films, maybe a feature, um, but it's still no guarantees on more consistent video because I really do not yet know how everything could explode and just go. But I will do, I'll put way more effort in actually trying to uh, bring the conversation over to the other end. And if you do have something in mind that you actually like to um, learn or discuss about, to be great if you actually bring that to the fore table so that um, we could integrate your suggestions and actually make um, things that are tailored to your specific needs as opposed to um, the direction and trajectory that I'm actually chasing at the moment. So a couple more things we will try and explore in the course of the year. We've got a couple of new tools and toys and there's also a lot more we're looking to also bring into the space that is tailored to my own problem solving approach in terms of camera techniques, camera language and motion. Um, presently we have like a Cinetech dolly and um, we would explore a couple of those where it's valid, where it's approachable, um, where you choose that over like a Steadicam approach, um, using a gimbal setup to like fake a 3 setup, what it might work for, and see how we can explore that. Even lighting techniques and how to test, um, because that's what most people do not understand. Like when you're prepping for a film, how do you prep technically? You get, what's your tech previews like? What's your previews like? What's your show Bible like, your show lot? So, um, God willing, all things being equal, I will give you my take on most of these things that I've mentioned, and we would actually dive into them. Hopefully, most of them would be um, informative to you in your own story approach. And we could now explore lighting designs, why I choose a Fresnel, why I choose a Spot, why I use an Ultra Bounce, um, the reason why you do double diffusion or stuff like that you get. And all of this we can take time out and explore. And we could just even take out scenes from like a specific film that I find inspirational and we'll just break down what we um, um, taught they use, what the framework was, what um, the lighting approach was, and see how you can tie that into the DNA of some of your work in terms of approach and how you can improve the, the language you get. Even 
going across or extending up to the point of discussing diffusions and adding texture to your image so you're not like um, every available visuals out there. Basically, the entire aim is to fail a lot more because in failing with Len, in doing all these things, we all grow together and explore um, the entire range of our cinematic language and the cinematic tools that are available to us. It may differ, some of the tools may differ because of what you have available. But yes, as you also know, we have like a rental house. So you could also play by, stop by, try some of these things if you're in the Lagos area. Um, if you're not, you can adapt it in any way that you can. Like we say, the whole mantra of improvise, adapt, and overcome is actually built up on the fact that you take techniques that are useful to you, and if they are not like one-to-one -one on your immediate surroundings, you find a way to adapt that knowledge and make it ingenious or um, relevant to your own situations, and it becomes a way of contributing more value to your work, to your client, and to your own sphere. And that's the entire idea behind that mantra. So taking it, adapting it, and you produce great results. And yeah, that's the entire spectrum. Um, that's just basically it. So it's basically Happy New Year or New Space. Um, there's no tour though, it's just like a very long space with like an office and like a post suit and like an eating area, so nothing much. And we'll get like play around and try, try out a whole lot, couple more of things and we can actually test, fail, and explore things. So until next time I see you, Improvise, adapt, and overcome.